Happy Sabbath. Welcome to this special Reformation Weekend edition of Contendence for the Faith. Today we are looking at the theme of Here I Stand, Luther's impassioned defense before the Diet of Worms. Our scripture reading is from Luke chapter 21, verses 12 through 19. The Bible says, But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what it shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or resist. And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an ear of your head perish in your patience, possess ye your soul. And so this was Martin Luther's answer to the council that charged them with, give us a plain answer, will you recant? And this is recorded in the Great Controversy, chapter 8, and it reads, notice his impassioned words, Since your most serene majesty and your high mightinesses require from me a clear simple and precise answer, I will give you one, and it is this. I cannot submit my faith either to the Pope or to the councils, because it is clear as the day that they have frequently erred and contradicted each other. Unless, therefore, I am convinced by the testimony of Scripture or by the clearest reasoning, unless I am persuaded by means of the passages I have quoted, and unless they thus render my conscience bound by the word of God. I cannot and I will not retract. For it is unsafe for a Christian to speak against his conscience. Here I stand. I can do no other. May God help me. Amen. My dear friends, if that is not contending for the faith that was once delivered to the saints, I don't know what is. As you go through this Sabbath day, I implore you, to think about our stance in these last days pertaining to a Reformation attitude. What is it about this truth that would make us stand up for it and even be willing to lay down our lives for the cause? Have you counted? Have you considered? Have you realized that you are in the greatest moment of this world's existence. You are in the hours of the final showdown. Are you prepared, my dear friends, to stand as Martin Luther did, to be as impassioned in your defense of truth as he was, and ultimately be willing to lay down your life as he was in defense of said truth? Generations past have bequeathed such a blessed legacy unto us, and it behooves us not to let this glorious truth trail in the dust. Beloved, understand, and this is true every time, when you stand up for God, he will stand up for you. So I encourage you, keep standing for Jesus and to contend for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Once again, blessed, happy Sabbath, and may God bless you. Until next time.